up and running around Running from the problems that have been coming down Talking and try the best to keep telling me How to act, what to say, how to think and who to be But something inside screams out this can't be right Get in line, read the book, they say, man, don't be blind I feel like sometimes I am all alone Sitting wondering why can't we all just get along And something inside screams out, who do you think you are? Throwing your stones way too far Telling other people how to live their lives This world is full of hate Greatest crimes in the world are justified by faith Be the change you want to see and appreciate Things that make us different are the things that make us great Join me in screaming out Who do you think you are? Going your stones way too far If you have, now's the time to get up and start again Who do you think you are? Throwing your stones way too far Telling other people how to live their lives Who do you think you are? That glass house won't get you far Get out now before it comes crashing down Crashing down Hey YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, how's it going? This is Chris. I hope you really like that song. This song is called Who Do You Think You Are? Um, it's a very personal song for me. It was written shortly after my return from the deployment. Um, it was inspired by Sergeant Donna Johnson. Uh, you may remember Sergeant Donna Johnson because uh, one year ago today, her and two other North Carolina National Guard soldiers passed away in Afghanistan. Um, I posted a Tim McGraw, if you're reading this, cover tribute to those soldiers back in October of last year. You can um, check that out here as well. But uh, the Westboro Baptist Church picketed her funeral. And uh, this was my shout back at the Westboro Baptist Church. Um, this, is, this song, Who Do You Think You Are, is inspired by her. You know, they disagree with her lifestyle and uh, feel it's their place to tell her how to live. And uh, I disagree. I disagree. So this is my shot back at the Westboro Baptist Church. And anybody really that feels the way they do. Um, yeah. I was hesitant to release this song first. Uh, not because uh, of any particular reason other than this song is a departure from everything else I'm writing. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's everything from uh, the personal connection to it, to the style in which I wrote it, to the sound. Um, 
everything about this song is different from some of the other things that I've been writing. Uh, it's got more of a pop feel. I'm, everything else I'm writing is country. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, October 1st, the one year anniversary of her passing, uh, when she was the one that inspired this song, is yeah, there's, there's no more of an appropriate time to release this. So I hope you like it. I hope you like it a lot. Share it on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Like I said, this is the first original I've posted, so um, be ready for a lot more. But definitely it's time to step up our game. It's time to step up the getting the word out, telling a friend. Um, share it with everybody you can. Uh, you know, I appreciate everybody that's done all of this before uh, for all the covers. But the original work, you know, this is my bread and butter. This is what I'm doing for a living. Uh, so it's, a, it's, it's even that much more important. And uh, I'm even that much more grateful uh, when these songs get promoted or when you drop me a line and say, tell me how much you liked it or uh, when you share it on your walls. So thank you for everybody that's followed me thus far. I want to switch gears real quick. I know, when I start rambling, there's nothing real quick about anything I do, but this is at the end of the video, so if you don't like it, click off of it. But uh, I want to tell you about some exciting things coming up this month. You know, obviously, October 1st is today. Uh, honestly, you got the very first uh, cover, or very first original from Chris Smith. Uh, there's going to be at least two more coming out, or at least one more coming out this month, possibly two, and then more to follow shortly thereafter in November, December. Uh, I'm going to start rolling this stuff out to you. I've been writing it all summer. Um, I'm excited to let you hear some of it. Uh, also, October, got yeah, lots of shows coming up in addition to the uh, original songs coming out. So be looking on Facebook and Reverb Nation for those show dates. And this is probably what I'm most excited about, Songwriter Solutions. What is Songwriter Solutions, you might ask? Well, let me tell you, I'm glad you asked. Songwriter Solutions is uh, an office that I'm opening here in my hometown of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. If you're local, get excited about this. Um, this is an idea, this is a baby of mine that I've been floating around for two to three months now, uh, trying to figure out you know, the business plan and how it's gonna work and put it together and talking to people and networking and partnering with the right people. And it's coming together today, October 1st. The office is launching in the Community Arts Cafe in downtown Winston-Salem. If you're not familiar with the Community Arts Cafe, it's right off of, uh, it's 411 West 4th Street right in the heart of downtown Winston-Salem. And this whole building is designed to promote the arts. Everything they do is arts related. And uh, I just absolutely am excited to be in that building with all the other people that are in there. And uh, I'm excited for what the Songwriter Solutions is gonna bring to Winston-Salem. It's designed to bolster the songwriting community um, and not just Winston-Salem, but North Carolina and, and uh, anywhere, anyone, anyone that needs help, reach out to us. Uh, you got lyrics, you need some music. You got music, you need some lyrics. You don't know where to go, you need a melody, you need a chorus. Um, don't know where to start, you're brand new, never written a song before, I have copyright questions. Anything you have, that's what we're here to help with. Um, share our personal experiences. We're not catered just towards uh, newbies. We've got uh, lots of stuff for the advanced songwriters. I'll be doing all my writing, or a lot of my writing out of the office with a bunch of co-writers um, that I've partnered with be a lot of uh, collaborations that happen and uh, we're partnered with a lot of good producers songwriters and uh, publishers from New York to Nashville and, and obviously locally as well but uh, I'm just uh, I'm very excited about this I'm very excited for what this is going to do um, I'm excited to have a place to work and uh, to uh, do what I can to promote the arts I, you know that's what I'm all about these songs are you know these are my babies this is how I'm making my living but at the end of the day it's it's all about the arts. This is all about music it for me. So I'm excited. If you can't tell, if you can't tell by my rambling being longer than usual, I'm excited about this. But there's going to be a Facebook page that's launching today as well. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. If you could go there and give it a like, uh, I would really appreciate it. Since it's launching today, it's going to be kind of a slow build. But uh, go over there, leave me a line on the Facebook page, tell me what you think, tell me you liked it, tell me uh, you're from YouTube or wherever you're from, and uh, just don't be a stranger. And uh, that's all I got. With all this new stuff coming up in October, it's important that you like, or that you, yeah, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter so you don't miss anything. So, that's all I've got for this week. Once again, the song is Who Do You Think You Are, inspired by Sergeant Donald Johnson. Please share it, please get it out, post it on your YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, Tell everybody. Tell everybody. <laughs> Just tell everybody. 
Tell everybody I've got original stuff coming out. I really appreciate it. Until next week, peace out.